Hello YouTubers. In this video, we are going to use the joystick module with the blue pill. I connected to ST-Link using li live expression. We are going to see the value. When we move X side and it changing, going higher. And when we change the Y side, it will change. We will see in the live expression. The Q by DE live expression, the value X is here, Y is here. It will change. When I rotate the joystick, it will change. I am changing the X value, 0, and going, and this side, it's changing. Now, the Y value, up and down, and 0. The joysticks here, we can remove the head, and it got two potentiometer. One is here, that is for the this side movement. The other one is here, that is for the this side movement. And we got a button here. We are not going to use the button. It got five pins, ground and five volt. We are going to connect this one to 3.3 volt only because the blue pill work with 3.3 volt. We got VRX and VRY and the switch but pin is here. We are not going to use the switch pin. Diagram is here. Ground connected to G and five volt connected to 3.3 make sure that's very important you should connect to 3.3 and VRX VRY connected to A1 and A2 the wiring connection is like this I have opened the Q by DE if anybody doesn't know how to install Q by DE I have made a separate video it's available here can continue click system core click sys for the debug serial wire click analog click ADC1 for in one we tick and configuration parameter setting we make it bigger and continuous conversion mode make sure it's enabled for the other potentiometer we can use the same ADC with different channel. I have made a different video. It's available here with the multi-channel. Today we're going to use two different ADC. So we click ADC2 also and in two we tick it and configuration parameter setting and continuous conversion it's enabled. That's all the setting. We can click save. Okay, yes. While the code is being generated, we can see something. In the description below of this video, I have given a website link. When we go there, this one, the diagram is here, picture is here, Q by D, set, Q by D setting is here, we've already done. The code is here. To save time, we can copy and paste. In user code begin PV, we need to copy and paste these two lines. We go to Q by D. And we go to user code begin PV. It's here. We paste it. Go there again. And user code begin 2. We copy and paste these two lines. Copy. And same place in the user code begin PV that's here we paste it and finally in the while loop we can copy and paste these five lines copy and here we paste it so it get the two different value from ADC1 read value X ADC2 read value Y and small delay all the code we can instead of uh, placing the code using the run button we can use the debug to see the values click this one yeah. and uh, I use open OCD it will work with the original board also with the clone boards click show generate option and go below and uh, reset mode is software system reset Click apply, click OK.
now with the live expression the button with a read in glass on it we click it and in here we can monitor these two values in the user code begin pv read value x we copy and paste and read value y we copy and paste enter and we make it smaller so that we can see the value we will see the x value here y value here when we press this run button the value is here now i am going to change the potentiometer see here up down this side this side and uh, we do like this thank you very much for watching if you have any question, write down in the comment section below. I try to answer as much as I can. Thank you. Bye.